Hello. But Hamish here from Mortgages Online and Dev. Hello everyone. Dev and Hamish. Um, we're going to talk about house prices. Are they about to fall off a cliff? Are Hamish, they? I wish I could know the answer, but you know, well, nobody knows what's going to happen. We're going to unpack the REINZ monthly stats out for May, um, April, look, out in May. But really, it's really looking at April. It's the drilling, drilling down of April. And I mean, look, house prices, median house prices up, breaking a, a lot of records. High, yes. Yeah. But you know, we're comparing these numbers of one year old stats. So comparing it to last April, which we know what happened around that time. COVID, lockdown, a lot. Yeah. Yep, yep. So these these aren't the the best ones to look at. However. REINZ does put out month on month. Now that's where things get interesting because yeah. if we look on month on month, what are we seeing here? And this is some little notes I made. What are we seeing mm -hmm. here, mate? There's Auckland. still a seasonal increase in Auckland. Um, yes, uh, but it's pretty flat. Uh, yeah. Point four, if you don't look at the seasonal. Yeah. In fact, Bay of Plenty negative, Wellington negative, mm. uh, Christchurch probably, you know, down as well. Yeah. Uh, seasonally adjusted, some of these places fairly flat. Yeah, the um, numbers are showing the other way around. Yeah, it's it's looking it's looking like a slowdown. Yeah, look, because look, investors are backed off since there's a two back-to-back -back announcement. Plus, was in forty percent LVR restrictions. Yep. Then, you know, the tax, new tax laws, when you no longer be able to offset expenses against the income. So, yeah, there's a bit of a cloud in the market at the moment. And since investors can't see a vision ahead, so they kind of backed off. Yeah, but you know what? You go to auction rooms in Auckland. They're still packed. They're still packed. <laughs> and they're still heavy bidding. So yeah. I think what's happening is demand, I feel like demand has fallen off. We've noticed inquiries falling yeah. off, yeah. from especially from investors. But it seems like the supply is still not quite not there the, for, the, yeah. for the home buyers themselves. Because um, the first home buyers are aggressively looking since, you know, the banks have lowered their guard. Interest rates are low. So inquiries are pretty much the same. But in terms of, you know, the numbers, number-wise, there's a bit of a not, still still not enough demand in the market. Uh, supply. Sorry, supply in the, in yeah. the, in the market. Yeah. If we drill down into Auckland, right, what we're seeing here is um, effectively we are seeing Manukau City apparently ha a new mm. record median of yeah. 1070. Now, um, Manukau, I think, has got one thing going for it, and that is there is a lot of uh, larger plots of land, yeah. subdividable, flat. Flat. Uh, and I think that's where we are seeing competition is trying to mm. anyone trying to grab anything that where that you can build. Yeah, true. That that's that's what because you know the exemption. So investors are going hard for the new build because it's tax exemption. These tax incentives and plus they know that okay, look, if they build something new, it might appeal to an investor. Uh, it definitely appeals to a first home buyer. Correct. So look, and we're seeing some great incentives, banks. Mm -hmm. Like ASBs just come out with a 1.79 percent. Nah, nobody for have ever floating rate for about uh, new builds yeah. and uh, off the plan stuff. For mm. so that I mean, look, it looks like the drivers there for new builds. However, however, I think that we might see one. I think there is another opportunity here, right? And I think where the opportunity is is that there's a lot of knee-jerk reaction in some of these towns. Mm -hmm. Investors may be dropping stock, selling yep. stuff, selling down, um, without a real clear plan on what next. Correct. You know? So at the moment, like I said, you know, there's no crystal clear picture. It's 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 people's are backing off. They want to know what what will happen. You know, it's just just you know fifty fifty at the moment to see whether this market could collapse or not collapse. Actually, could go down. But I would say the price may get stable rather yep. than, you know, just fall. Because since, since when we saw the major price fall since after the 2008, yep. you know, the price has always gone up. And so since 2012, 14, well, 16, 18. Yeah. And I think, what you, well, I think where the opportunity is that you might find that once investors digest some of these tax rules and actually look yep. at what the 
loopholes. actual cash flow. Well, not the loopholes, but exactly how much more tax oh, yeah, is true. in terms of do- mm. actual dollar terms. Yeah. You might find that people actually go, ah, uh, it's there's still enough gain in the long run yeah, to pay a, six yeah. grand, um, five grand, eight grand more in tax every year. You know, know four or five hundred dollar dollars a month for a retirement plan is still uh, not such a bad proposition. Yeah, plus you could capital gain, you know, as a retirement plan. So it's just not like a short term plan. Yeah, well, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. (laughs) Just just make sure you get in the head. I think um, you've been going to a few auction rooms. Yes, um, surprisingly... Those ones by um, the stocks being dumped by investors. So, oh, really? Yeah. So a couple of properties that I've been to in auction, uh, no, it's just been listed by investors. So they don't really know what to do because usually they may be scared to see, you know, there could be a massive tax, but just because with the accountant, there could be alternative options as well. But. Well, I think this is where, look, there are some other things going on. Apart from tax, I mean, there's a lot going on in the investor world, right? Yeah. And I think the other thing going on is that certain types of properties are yeah. going to become more difficult to manage with the new rules, especially with like um, not being able to uh, exit your tenant, mm-hmm. you know, unless you can uh, under, only under certain conditions. And I think what you'll find is in big blocks, yeah. if you've got a multi-unit in a block, I think those properties may become harder to manage if it's in the wrong type of area yeah. where there's more of a chance of getting an unruly tenant because if you have one bad apple, yeah. then the other tenants will constantly be wanting to move out Correct. if you can't get rid of that tenant quickly enough. If it takes you six months, a year working with the te- yeah, tenancy tribunal to get gone. rid of an unruly mm-hmm. tenant, then you're going to have a high turnover around it and you might have the perfect tenant. Yep. But just because you're in a multi-unit and the next door tenant yep. is not perfect, you're still affected. Yeah, so correct. I think those types of properties, might you might start to see more of them coming onto the market over the next 12 months to two yeah, years. Yeah, true. Um, but I think there's, there's an opportunity there because what you might find is that, that there's good opportunities to buy certain rental stock. Yeah. At the moment, you know how the banks have lowered the guard, interest rates are record low. So reach out to us to find out what you can afford, what sort of range you have. So definitely it's worthwhile having a chat to, you know, rather than just assuming things. See whether we can do... Well, yeah, I mean, we can also kind of give you a rough idea. I mean, we're not accountants, but we can give you a rough idea of what the new tax would be for an investment property. Uh, Investment property is still a... I think still a good thing. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be um, selling up or anything with what I have uh, anytime soon. Anything else you want to add? I think we've pretty much covered the most things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, reach out to us and we can help you see where you sit now. Yeah, cool. No, thanks for watching.